What is going on everyone? It's RJ and Alex from Backyard Sprouts. Happy New Year's. It is now 2020. And in today's video, what we're going to talk about is just a recap of our 2019 year, which is our first year as Backyard Sprouts. And then our big plans going on to 2020. And it's all coming up next. What's up, everybody? So 2019 was obviously a huge year for us. We started our business and launched the microgreens into restaurants. So we feel like we had a pretty strong year. We definitely had some ups and downs. Some of the strong points for us were meeting a bunch of the chefs at the restaurants, building those relationships. We also started selling at Noda Farmer's Market, which was huge for us. We got to meet that amazing community and spend a lot of weekends with them. Yep. Yeah, that was cool. We also got to partner with Lisa from Farm Fresh Carolinas. And if you aren't familiar with her business, you should absolutely check them out. She has a great Instagram and you can check out their website. Her company does a lot of in-home uh, produce delivery for organic things from all around the area. And they also do honeys and eggs and other sorts of foods as well. But she is now carrying our microgreens and we're hoping to build upon that in the future, with, which we will touch on later. But Lisa's been an awesome partner for us. Now, some of the bumps in the road that we have to handle were when we first started selling at the farmer's market, we had absolutely no idea how much product to bring, what people wanted, the variety, right? Because we sell about 11 varieties of micros right now. And so obviously we weren't taking a bunch of all 11 because they're not all the same, right? Sunflower and pea are a lot more popular than uh, the corn and the curly crust, for example. So that was definitely a learning curve, trying to get down what our customers really wanted from us. So we made sure we had the product available to them at the market every weekend. Another kind of workout we had to do was with our chefs to make sure they understood that we are grow to order and giving us an accurate forecast of what they wanted every week. And we really managed to actually nail that down at the end of the year and got a good cadence going with them. And that's been a strong, uh, <clears throat> a strong, I guess, support for us because we've been able to really successfully make sure that we're supplying them when they need it with the freshest product. We also were a little hesitant with home delivery because we both, as you guys know, so work full time and we need to make sure that we can meet all of the demands for when people were asking for products. So partnering with Lisa has allowed us to push people towards her program. We still offer them the fresh microgreens, but Lisa already has the infrastructure to do home deliveries established and it's very successful for her. So that was a um, win for us as well at the end. So yeah, that was a, that's a pretty clean recap of 2019 and, and it is crazy to think about that that was our very first year starting off and remember we went into this just reading a few books and if we were to go all the way in the beginning which was January first Alex and I did want to start with other crops like lettuce and spinach and all that but it just got too crazy I mean Alex spent like hours harvesting spinach and lettuce for the farmers market and it was only pretty much for the farmers market because yeah. we didn't have enough at the time to supply for restaurants so um that's when we decided to kind of just go full on into the microgreens so it's it's been a it's been a very interesting year we've definitely grown uh and, and we know what we need to fix and all the exciting stuff heading into 2020. so in 2020 we're gonna tr we're gonna go much much bigger we're gonna try and continue nailing down more restaurants trying to uh gather some of the restaurants in the charlotte area as we grow we are still striving to be the absolute best microgreen supplier in the charlotte region that is what we're trying to definitely push for my goal like and i told alexis and all the other all our friends and all our peers is when someone says we're microgreen in the charlotte area i want them to associate it with backyard sprouts right there's that we says we still have a, a few competitors here and there um they control different regions but um we have a lot of testimonials from our executive chefs that we hands down have the best and freshest microgreens and it's awesome to hear so no clue what these other microgreen growers are doing but obviously <laughs> ours is the freshest by a lot so we're going to continue nailing down the chefs and growing our restaurants and then um, like Alex said, we're going to continue growing with our home deliveries as well. And we're going to continue to work with Lisa on that because she ha she does have the infrastructure. Yeah. So instead of us trying to, you know, work throughout our schedule, we're just going to go ahead and offload it to Lisa and, and continue to build that relationship with her. And the other thing that we want to work on definitely is you guys, the YouTube channel. Yeah. We are so, so excited every <laughs> single time we see a comment on YouTube and we get a notification and Alex is like, we got another comment and I was like, I know I'm on it. And some of you guys are like commenting at 
weird hours of the day, like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., so I can't get back to it until I wake up at like 5 or 6, but it's very exciting. So we're definitely wanting to grow this channel a lot more. We have like 200 subscribers, which is awesome because at first, you know, we only have like friends and family, you know, joining, and we had like 20, 25, then we reached 100, which was awesome, but now we're at 200. So we're trying to grow this, and it's very exciting because we have a lot of plants and uh, we definitely want to do more how-to videos, what we can do with microgreens, because remember, a lot of people that use microgreens are chefs, restaurants, but as we started to educate more and more people in the farmer's market, we converted a whole bunch of people that didn't know what microgreens were, yeah, but now absolutely. they're like addicted to it because it's much more than just a garnish. And so we want to do a whole bunch of how-to videos. We want to do more crop focuses, like how to plant something from start to finish. We're increasing um, our production. Like we used to film all last year in 1080p. Now we're filming in 4K. So this is super exciting <laughs> stuff. Uh, so yeah, we, we have a lot of plans and we're super excited to go into 2020. And we want to do a lot of, of videos on not only the microgreens, but the business as well. A lot of you guys had questions on how we were doing certain things because you guys were also going or we're interested in growing a business as well and diving into the microgreen business. So we'll also touch base on that. Whatever we can do to help you guys, just make sure you, you comment and, and ask away. And as you can see, Alex and I do get to the questions, so. Yeah, if you guys have anything specific, make sure you let us know because we definitely want to give you guys the content you're looking for. So, and that includes things such as like, if there's questions you have about finding an accountant or directed to an accountant, we have a great relationship with our accountant. We will ask him and bring him back to you guys. So definitely post them below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you want to see. And we'll make sure that we create a video for it this year. Some other things we really want to do in 2020 are free up our time. Yeah. Because one of the issues that I guess are just a challenge for us constantly is balancing our work life with the business because as we've mentioned many times, like working full time, chefs want deliveries usually before opening. So usually by three o'clock <clears throat> to four o'clock, that's like the latest they're trying to take deliveries because they're preparing the kitchen and preparing to get everything out the door. And you can't come in that late with the product. They're expecting it to be there to make sure it's there so they know they can plan to put it on a dish. And during the work week, it just is not help our schedule just is not open to allowing us to do multiple deliveries at that time so that's definitely going to be a focus of ours this year is to make sure that we're we are making our current deliveries but if we want to grow we need to make sure we free up time to be able to grow and that's been a challenge for us it's not that we don't have a lack of opportunities in the area it's a lack of time and i don't think that was something i necessarily expected when we started out on this project that time would be one of the biggest challenges for us because we still have plenty of space these rack size you will be shocked when you start growing how much stuff you can grow on a rack. There's plenty of room. So don't go crazy when you're setting up with multiple racks. Start out small and build as you expand. Right. Yeah, the, the time thing is, is crucial because Alex and I definitely struggled, even between her and I, bouncing back and forth, making deliveries and exchanging microgreens, finding time in our schedule to, to do things. And I know her and I were saying our butt heads and, and you know, towards the end of the year, like, I'm busy. Well, I'm busy too. And it, it's just, it's getting crazy. And we've almost to a point hindered ourselves towards the end of the year. We kind of want purposely slowed down because we were scared to take on any more clients because we didn't know how we were going to make the deliveries. We didn't know how we were going to make the scheduling work. So we're definitely, the, you know, Alex, Alex touched on that very well, that that is something we really want to work on so that we can allocate our time more effectively and efficiently and optimize it to the best so that we can scale up. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And as always, Alex and I are trying to build a community of like minds who would absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button so you guys get the latest on our urban farming adventure. And we'll see you guys next time.